Spillbar. Wow. Hey. I guess we're back. I with guess this, we're back. Uh, one final podcast before uh, summer vacation and uh, exams at our schools. Yeah. Uh, and it's a special one. It's a special one. It's a very special one. Why is it special, Jacob? Because uh, about two and a half hours ago, we started watching the uh, next Xbox reveal, or as we now know, it's called the Xbox One. Xbox freaking one. Yes, it's because it is number one, obviously. But I guess it's also because <laughs> it's the only one device you'll actually need in yeah. your house. Yeah, it's a lot of play on words in that in that title, yeah. I believe. Um, so we, uh, it's just uh, well, not only, but it's just you and me today, yeah, Jan. Today it's only me, Jan, and me, Jacob. Exactly. Um, more than enough. The other guys, uh, uh, they are busy with school and stuff. Yes. I guess um, I'm actually busy too, but I took my time. Uh, yeah, so did I. For me, um, it's thi- for me. This is a very special occasion. It's kind of more important than school, I guess. Yeah. For me, it's so. yeah, yeah, same. Uh, I probably should be studying for my final right now. Yeah, and I should be writing some, uh, you know, for my project. So, uh, <laughs> you know. I guess we're in the same boat. Um, priorities. So, um, I guess we could uh, just talk through our night yeah. that we had and yeah. discuss. Uh, as we get to certain points, yes, I guess. Uh, well, uh, it started out with uh, a salesman. A salesman called me. Yeah. When well, we were, uh, <laughs> like, we're like 15 minutes before uh, the Xbox Unreal. Uh, um, real? Yeah. Unreal? Yeah. Real. Re- reveal. 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 <laughs> so we were watching the uh, the pre-show on uh, IGN. On IGN, uh, yes. Uh, Ryan McCarthy and uh, Peter Molyneux. Peter Garden fucking Molyneux. Very interesting man. Very calm man. Very calm. Um, and there was a salesperson who called you, and I, I you, did you say he was uh, like uh, collecting money or something? He was for, uh, uh, trying to collect money for drug abuse yeah. uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, to stop that and, kind uh, of thing. Yeah, and I was like, now, so how how did you handle it? I handle it uh, by doing what I usually don't do. Actually, I All usually right. just listen to them, and then no, I can't. I'm a student. I don't have money. Stop. Yeah. But uh, today I was such in a Microsoft Xbox mood, so when he called, I said, uh, hello, it's young Christian Heigl from uh, Xbox Offices Norway. Yes. And he asked, okay, that's good. And uh, I was like, and he was like, can you maybe help and donate? I was like, sorry, we in Microsoft cannot help you. <laughs> we, we, are, we are too big a corporation to help. What if you totally <laughs> fucked Microsoft by saying that? If so, I totally fucked Microsoft by saying that, I have to be say I'm super sorry. It was just a joke. And to, like, but it was in, hilarious. In t- <laughs> but in tomorrow uh, in the region news- newspapers, you'll have like headlines saying uh, Microsoft does not support uh, charity causes and stuff. All but that's bullshit. Of, Microsoft yeah. gives so much money away. Uh, yeah, not particularly Bill, Bill Gates. Gates. Yeah. If he hadn't. Given all, uh, like he already gave more money away than uh, what is it, the fifth richest person in the world? What, yeah. What, which he's worth? Um, yeah. And he also has given more money to charity than any religious uh, instance ever. Yeah. As far as I know. But uh, now that we're on uh, Bill Gates. Yes. What uh, he had a particularly, I think, good role. Yeah. It's Small but good thing in uh, today's. Uh, Revealed. Yeah, uh, because uh, I, I felt that the uh, PlayStation reveal was kind of slow, and yeah. uh, it might be because I'm not that big a fan. Same here. But, you know, Xbox, they really just kicked it off. The first person you see on screen... Is goddamn Bill Gates. It's Bill Gates, you know. Who else? Who else is um, a better representation for Microsoft yeah. at the moment? And uh, even though it was like only a short cameo, mm. because you know, he's probably a busy man and yeah, he was... Uh, super busy. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, that was awesome. They started out with the video, the instruction uh, intro video, yeah. uh, with a lot of famous people in it uh, and some just regular, you know... Regular guys. Yeah. Commercial people, uh, actors. gamers, I guess. Yeah, yeah. actors. May- maybe actors, maybe random people, uh, families of the people working in Microsoft. We don't know. Yeah, so so we saw people like uh, uh, we saw JJ uh, uh, Abrams. Abrams. 
And uh, <laughs> his name is not Abrahamson. <laughs> Abrams. Abrams. You said Abrams. You said Abrams. <laughs> well, we can go back and listen to that because we're no, recording. No, no. <laughs> okay. So we, whatever. <laughs> uh, and uh, we got to see Jack Patillo and Barbara yeah. from uh, the Rooster Teeth uh, crew. Yeah. Uh, we also got to see a very special person, uh, his Which name. has a lot more to do with this Xbox reveal and uh, what we anticipated. Yes. Uh, I guess we'll get back to discussing yeah. that later. Yes. Just keep it a secret for now. Exactly. I, I mean, I most people who are really listening to our uh, podcast probably already knows this, but, you know, yeah. let's just tease it for now. Tease, tease it. Tease, tease it. it. So, um, it all started off with uh, Don Matrick. Yeah. He's an awesome guy. He's, an, he's a really he awesome like guy. looks like Tom Cruise. <laughs> he kind of does. A taller Tom Cruise. Yeah. And his <laughs> face is kind of more, looks a little bit more like a fox. Yeah. Um, but yeah, kind of Tom Cruise. Maybe he's a Japanese uh, fox demon. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I wouldn't know. I would like in Naruto. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, never, I never watched that, but I I got that reference though. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, there were a lot of uh, this... There was this uh, thing on Twitter, uh, the hashtag Xbox memories. Yeah. So he kind of went through all the um, all the earlier Xbox features mm. from Xbox One to uh, the first Xbox Live. Yeah, and so on. And to the thing you till the first time you brought your Xbox to your friend's house to play the first Halo yeah. uh, game because that didn't have Xbox Live. Um, now I didn't own uh, any Xbox console until I uh, I. I got the Wii, mm-hmm. Wii uh, Nintendo Wii, and I realized that you know Zelda Twilight Princess probably the only good game that came out for it. Pretty much uh, at the time, so I sold it, and then I got a 360. But mm. you, you owned uh, Xboxes own my, for quite a while I now. I owned my first Xbox since I was 14, I think. Yes, uh, so that was in 2004. That means it was already out three years and was one year before the 360 launch. Yeah. So it was very light, late in the cycle, which meant. More games to play. More games to play. So, (coughs) how did this whole uh, nostalgia retrospective feel for you? Uh, For me, it was like the thing... uh, I didn't bring my Xbox till uh, Friends, because very few people I knew had the Xbox. Yeah, of course. Where I grew up. Yeah. Uh, But uh, I bought it from my uncle, because he was going to prepare to buy the 360, and it was playing uh, the PlayStation 2 uh, for the moment, I think. Or, and he, he's like, he was like 34-ish at that time, So, we, but he still liked to play games. Yeah. But I bought it uh, from him, and uh, I got uh, like a bunch of games, uh, good games. Everything from some beast fighting game. Was it the uh, the cameo thing we talked about? No, or? not oh. cameo. It was a fighting game uh, where oh, you uh, can transform yourself to beasts. Oh, well... Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember name either. And uh, I had Halo One and Halo Two, great yeah. games, all of them. And oh God, it was so many games. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Three. Mm. Yeah. I think I had a Worms game. Like so much, I can't even remember all of them. There were like tons. Yeah. So so we got to see the retrospective, and uh, then we just then they just moved on and showed off all the equipment that you'll get. Within the package, yeah. that is the Xbox uh, One. Maybe we'll get the headset this time too. That would be awesome. That would be uh, real nice. But uh, that's just like a small thing. That's not that big of a reveal, I guess. Yeah, no, it's not really. A it it and, depends uh, on the uh, controller, you yeah. know. Um, we got to see that, and it looked really awesome. Yeah, it looked insane. It Exactly as uh, Roy McCarthy and uh, they were discussing. Yeah. Uh, it looks ex- almost exactly the same, yeah. but it has the few tweaks. Yeah. Like the D-pad, they, they, it looks like they fixed the D-pad for now, yeah. as far as the design goes. It's it's hard to tell without yeah, having exactly. tried it yourself. But as far as it looks like, it looks yeah. like they probably fixed it. Yeah. And I guess that's that was the only thing that made the, the 360 not perfect. Yeah. Uh, so one thing. Yeah, well, that's one of the things they actually uh, were saying about the new controller, that uh, the D-pad was uh, very... Uh, what was it? Um, Accurate? Yeah, I think so. Something like that, yeah. Um, and of course, we got to see the console itself, mm. which uh, kind of was a slap in the face towards Sony. Yeah. Um, but that, that, but, that, that but was the thing we've said all along on yeah. every podcast, that yeah. if Microsoft doesn't show, yeah. they kick themselves in asses because they said console reveal, no, they even show the console to yeah. PlayStation's reveal. Yeah. So they needed to show it, and they brought it. They brought the fucking 
bomb. Yeah, they they, they brought all the equipment because they also revealed that uh, the new Xbox will come with a Kinect device. Yes, which actually looks pretty sweet. It looks really it, neat. If you, um, if you compare it to the old Kinect that I have and the, the 360, the, the old they don't match that no. good. They're just black. Yeah, kind of. the old Kinect is more like a... It's like more like a toy. Or something. Yeah, it's a wide eye toy yeah. like you had for the uh, PlayStation 2. But this new thing is, it looks just as slick as the Xbox itself, yeah. and it just matches, you know. And that's fantastic, because every Xbox you uh, Xbox One that yeah. you buy, because that was the name of the console. I can't remember we said it. Did we say it? Yeah, we said it. Okay, we just... I think Xbox we did. One, I just like to say I, it. I think we did, yeah. yeah. we did in the beginning. Now that I remember, yes. Yes. Because uh, every Xbox One you buy will come with the Kinect. Yeah. I don't know if, cause if people say it's a deal breaker because it becomes more expensive. I don't care because the new Kinect looks so awesome. I think it, you'll just buy half a machine if you don't get the Kinect. Yeah, because what they really showed off a lot this t- time around was uh, a lot of the features yeah. on the dashboard itself and mm-hmm. how you can you can do like multi. That was something that PlayStation didn't show much of. They didn't show the dashboard as much. I believe that's because the dashboard probably looks a lot like the dash- dashboard from PS3, yeah. which is a really boring dashboard. Yeah. I said this earlier. Yeah. It's just uh, lists of uh, stuff. Yeah. I like tiles. I'm a Windows guy. Yeah, you know, it's it's really appealing. Yeah. Uh, and the box itself, uh, it's now a box again, I guess. Yeah. It's it really looks like a box. Exactly. It's uh, squ- very square, <laughs> and I really. But it's stylish. As it's fun. very stylish. It's it's um, kind of kind of uh, anonymous mm-hmm. when you have it in your uh, living room. I would assume because yeah. it's just like a black, and they, really slick they box. They also said that even though it looks big and it has a lot of fans, it looked like because it had like lots of uh, riffles. Uh, grills. Grill? Grills? It had like a grill. Yeah, uh, kind thing of. thing looked yeah. like a grill on a car. Yeah. yeah, and stuff like that. And looked like it maybe has a lot of uh, fans, but they said it was going to be very silent. Very silent. Which is also a very good point, because yeah. the first, the, no, yeah, the 360 was actually pretty loud. It's pretty loud. I have the original, the white box. Yeah, uh, I had it, so. <laughs> yeah and it's uh, really loud. Yeah. Um, Sony has always been like... Uh, in the middle. I guess. Yeah, or because the fans themselves, mm. is, uh, they were silent, but the disc reader, it does this sort of scratch noise yeah. all the time when it's uh, loading. <coughs> yeah, and like... <coughs> that's yeah. annoying as dicks. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope we don't have to listen to that. Yeah. With the new Xbox, but you know, <laughs> I'd probably buy it anyway. Yeah, true. And as you said, with the price, um, I think... Uh, those who I don't think for those who really want to buy it the Kinect add-on is going to be an yeah. issue or the price because, even yeah because what they showed off with the Kinect was just damn impressive yeah if I, if I may say so it was so they, um, for me I was sitting home with you we were watching it together yeah and I'm like serious yeah Xbox on yeah just that feature alone is like shit are we in a matrix dominate dominate <laughs> like one of the best things they said a whole a whole Xbox yeah. reveal i feel dominate. that that phrase uh is uh, if you didn't if you don't know what we're talking about just go watch the reveal because yeah. it would take too long to explain yeah uh but i f- have a feeling that that uh, phrase is going to be the next my body is ready yeah yeah. Or Ridge Racer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. So, um, let me just. We uh, took a lot of notes because there was a lot of information revealed. So much. Um, you can start with all in one system. Yeah. And uh, like the stuff you can do with the Kinect, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, they said uh, uh, it's made up of uh, a few uh, wishes, I guess. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be simple. It's going to be instant and connected. complete. Uh, was it con- connected or complete? Was it complete? complete I believe okay. it's complete. Uh, and that is exactly what it was when they showed off the whole connect motion thing. Mm. Um, like you just Xbox on. Yeah. Xbox TV instantly go to a TV channel. Yeah. I guess maybe if you just say in Xbox TV, it goes to the last channel where it maybe. Yeah. And then you can just like Xbox C C T V. CNN, CAA, yeah, whatever. Probably, and uh, 
and you know like um, when he went from uh, the TV to the game and yeah. back it was like Xbox TV and then you had television yeah. and then Xbox game instant game yeah exactly the internet explorer that yeah. was actually instant too so yeah internet explorer not slow so it's actually well. better on the Xbox than it is on the computer as of Yay. now I guess <laughs> well mm. yeah and <laughs> you know what I've I've had this thing for so long. I was really uh, unsure whether I should uh, upgrade to uh, Windows 8 or not because yeah. of the tile system. Mm-hmm. And that I thought, if I'm going to use this operating system, I should probably get a computer with a touchscreen or something, yeah. or just buy a Surface. Yeah. And now that I've seen the Xbox reveal, it's like, <laughs> I want tiles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want tiles everywhere. I'm even kind of regretting that I sold my uh, my Windows Phone earlier this year. Mm. And I bought an iPhone. I'm very happy with the iPhone, but that's not what yeah. we're here to talk about. I have my Windows Phone, so I'm connected. I have my Windows 8 computer. I'm connected. Yeah. And if my, uh, I guess, uh, with SkyDrive and all that integration yeah. with the Xbox uh, apps and Smart Glass and yeah. uh, the Xbox One. Yeah. It's going to be a fantastic, uh, hopefully, yeah. fantastic experience. It's it's kind of what I try to do because I... I uh, have an Apple computer. First, At first I had an iPhone. Yeah. And then I got an iPad. Yeah. And then I got a Mac. And, you know, uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do uh, between the three devices, mm. connecting them. But not so much stuff that I care about. Yeah. As much as I care about, say, games. Yeah. Which because I have, I can upgrade my gamer score with playing mobile for games. Yeah, exactly. And I'm a gamer score whore, so that <laughs> would be, you know, nice. What's your ga- gamer score, Jacob? Uh, I'm a, I'm I'm gonna have to check that out because I want an accurate number. But um, <laughs> so, SkyDrive. Yeah. Uh, they. Uh, Say the new Xbox is cloud powered. Yeah, cloud powered. Flat. Which is interesting. It is interesting because they were really vague on what cloud yeah. power really is. But like that that was the good thing. Everybody thought, oh shit, cloud powered means always on. Yeah. But thank God that Jeff uh, Jeff Keighley uh, asked afterwards uh, in his post interview with Don Matrick. Does this mean always on? Yeah. And, and, he, and Don Matrick said it fair and square. If you want to play multiplayer games, if you want to watch stream videos, you need to be connected to the internet. That's the world we're living in. Exactly. And, wait, this is not my Xbox account. <laughs> Painless and pa- on. Painless on too. That's pro. <laughs> ah, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing I really hated <laughs> with Xbox Live. I don't know how the fuck to change my email address oh. on my account. And it's... <laughs> Back in the day, it was so much hassle. Yeah. So I tried to like log in with my current email, yeah. and that created a new gamer profile, which oh, yeah, got yeah. the name Painless Aunt mm. Two, uh, which is a great gamer tag. Yeah, uh, kind of badass. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it doesn't have my gamer score and stuff on it. Exactly. So, you know, uh, but yeah, uh, Don Metric said you do not have to be online yeah. always, which is fantastic. Cause yeah. I, finally, that. Rumor has been laid to death. Rest. No, death. death. It's dead. All right. It's, yeah, well, it's dead. It's dead. Yeah. And rest. It's resting in dead. <laughs> yeah. But that, that's fantastic, because everybody's like, oh, I'm not going to buy the next Xbox, because the PlayStation is not always online. That's yeah. reasons, because my voice is very weird when I talk like I'm a PlayStation fanboy. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, uh, <laughs> now I can't remember my password. And nah, I, okay, just... I, got, I got the capture thing, so I'm not going to... No. Go through with that, but yeah. uh, I got about uh, 35, 36,000 gamers. Yeah. So it's not, uh, uh, it's not a lot. It's, it's kind of, yeah. I don't know. There are people with, you know, 300,000 yeah, stuff. Yeah, and there's a guy trying to break a million. He has like six, seven, uh, at least over 500,000 at the moment. Yeah. Or even more now, I guess. I guess. Um, so, uh, and they revealed that. Uh, this was not in the reveal itself, but they said afterwards that your gamer score will carry over and to the Xbox that's One. That's fantastic. That's news. fantastic because especially for the guy with over five hundred thousand points. Yeah, <laughs> <Especially>. that's, like, <laughs> that's like no, my goal. <laughs> because now that they have sort of integrated it into the Windows Phone and stuff, and that's yeah. n- that's kind of recently that they did that. Hmm. It's not too long ago. And why would I then just leave it? That wouldn't make sense. No, it wouldn't. So uh, that's the thing I like. Um, but you know, uh, cloud powered. 
uh, we can uh, s- uh, still talk a little bit about that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess uh, with the SkyDrive and stuff, you're going to have uh, all your saves and stuff on the on the cloud. I yeah, guess. they have an online function at the moment, but uh, yeah. it's not that integrated uh, in the Windows 8 ecosystem at the moment. Yeah, but, but it's go- they, coming more and more. Uh, yeah. So. And they said you can have your games uh, anytime, anywhere. So yeah. that sort of implies that you can uh, that uh, all your saves and stuff are exactly. uh, on a cloud storage. But we read afterwards in a, uh, that uh, Microsoft will uh, pay, or you will have to pay the publisher of the game, or was it Microsoft to bring like if you buy a used game, yeah. for instance? Yeah. Because uh, if when you say everywhere, every time, or what did uh, was it? Uh, uh, anywhere, anytime. I believe everywhere, they said. Everywhere, anytime. Does that mean the game you've bought, uh, like first day purchase, mm-hmm. uh, will uh, will be connected to your console? Or will be connected to your profile? Because if you, it's everywhere, anytime, it should be your profile. Yeah. What I'm guessing is um, the. It seems that you're gonna have to install every game to your hard drive. With a 500 uh, gigabyte drive, it shouldn't be that much problem. Uh, well, that depends on the size of the games. Yeah, but, but still, you know, if you it's, it's 500 gigabyte and. Well, maybe it's yeah. yeah. Uh, as long as the installation process is quick and neat, I, I don't really is. care. Uh, because uh, you know, I do the same thing on my computer. Mm. Uh, so, why not on my console? Exactly. Uh, but that's the that's the problem with some pre- people. They forget. It's always been like this on a PC. Yeah. Uh, some things that's always been there. But, but with the moment, it, it's something about the consoles. Yeah. It's like, no, th- we can't do this. It's not supposed to be like, but it's always, already been this on the PC for centuries. Yeah. Like, it's <laughs> like <laughs> the, I, <laughs> the, only, the only reason, the only thing that can make it a problem is hard drive space. Yeah. Uh, load times will be quicker. Load times will be quicker. Know, and if you just take the time to install it beforehand, mm-hmm. and you can uninstall it. Um, Maybe it will have this some kind of system like the, isn't the PlayStation supposed to be? You can play the game as you're installing it. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, they maybe said it so. has something like that. Mm. Who knows? They said that uh, Sony said that you can uh, play the game while um, here. Have some of my Norwegian spring water. Thank you. It's really nice. Uh, with an apple taste and uh, what's. The, 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 I don't know the word in English. Kulsir. Bubbly water. Yeah, bubblies. <laughs> uh, not alcohol, though. No. Because that's illegal in the studio. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or so we've been told. <laughs> um, and they've done that. <laughs> but yeah, um, what Sony said uh, is that you can um, you can uh, play your games uh, if you purchase them on the, um, on the online network. shop. Yeah, yeah. PlayStation Store, you can play them while uh, downloading them. Sort of a stream installation, I guess. Yeah. Um, but that's because of the most powerful, fastest network in the world, they called it. Yeah, I, I guess. Know. Well, uh, Microsoft also revealed that uh, they had, n- they now have like 15,000 servers. Uh, at the moment, they have 15,000 15, servers. Now that's a lot. That, that, that that's the Xbox Live servers. Xbox Live yeah. o- only. Now, what number, Jan, will they have when the Xbox One comes out? 300,000 servers. Exactly. More servers than there were, more computing power that was available than in the 1999, was it? They said? Or yeah. Or was it 1990? Yeah. In 1999. Yeah. There's like more computer power yeah. and that's than the world had in 1999. Yeah, and that's uh, 14 years ago. Yeah. That's, uh, that's but it's still a lot if you yeah you know uh, it's I, what I meant it's it's only fourteen years yeah. ago, um, and you know that uh, you that might be a hint that uh, you'll get a lot of cloud st- cloud storage yeah perhaps um, and, uh, also I guess reasons I said uh, we had this discussion when we were talking always online yeah people were afraid they didn't have enough servers and blah 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 yeah. With the Sim City and uh, yeah, of course. other MMOs, of course. What I got, what the, one of the things I said as defender of yeah. always online was, Microsoft is a goddamn big company. They know exactly what to do. Yeah. And what did they do? Did they did they did exactly 
what, what, would ne- what was needed to make this right. Yeah. To have this connected world, because yeah. they want you guys to have this personalized, connected interactions with your TV. It wasn't with your Xbox, it was with your TV. They said it over and over again. Yeah. The uh, TV is the central screen. You know, I room. I wouldn't really have been too pissed off if it actually was always online because my current Xbox is always online. Exactly. Either way, because I, but I understand it though because there are a lot of people who live in the rural areas yeah. with a bad internet connection. Uh, so, um, you know, as a company, they have to please yeah. all the customers that want to buy their product. And I guess they did. As far as I'm concerned, I'm pleased. Yeah. So, um, you know, the the entertainment uh, bit was a lot of the conference. It was like, almost like 40 minutes was mostly entertainment, I guess. Yeah, I believe so. Um, almost. And we got a lot Maybe of neat stuff minutes, yeah. out of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, Netflix, as expected. Yeah. Uh, soon, I guess, or for like music. Now it's, now, ex- now it's Xbox Music. Yeah, they, is that what they yeah, call it? Yeah, it's called Xbox Music now. All right, well, so. yeah, that's neat. Uh, it's a very nice name, actually. Yeah, much better. Because the soon was is always it's just connected with bad stuff, and the Xbox is only connected with good stuff. Yeah, you that's, know what I mean? that's true. With that's the true. name and stuff. Yeah. Um, um, we got a new feature, though, uh, which is Skype. Yeah, it's also... And not only Skype, we got this... Uh, what was it called? Uh, the You can... Uh, what was it called when you multitask? It's Mo- the, it's the uh, oh, yeah. feature, uh, uh, the same feature on the uh, snap mode. That's snap what it's mode. called. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's what you can do on Windows 8 now. Yeah, you can have like Netflix in one window. Yeah, and Skype in the other, and you can still talk to each other. Yeah, or you can have like a Facebook chat in a one window, and Netflix big, and whatever. Yeah, and I, I imagine if if you could have um, Skype. Yeah. On like open or uh, yeah. just have it active while you're playing games, mm. that would be awesome. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's. I guess that's the new cross chats. Yeah, guess. maybe that will be the main chat. Everybody, because everybody who has already has an Xbox uh, account, yeah. they have a Skype account, they yes. have a Microsoft account, they have an Outlook account, because everything's connected. They do, and uh, Skype is really my, uh, at least it's my uh, primary communication software when I'm playing yeah. games with friends and stuff. Yeah, same here. So I would really like to see that as a feature, mm. uh, Skype uh, being the main chat yeah. uh, software. And um, but uh, uh, and that's cool because uh, now you you don't o- you don't o- only need voice because now with the Connect, yeah, the Connect has been upgraded immensely. Yeah, it has. It went from like what was it, six forty four eighty p, yeah, till now it's ten eighty p, which is yeah full HD. It's, it's full it's, HD. It's fantastic. And uh, you know they uh, they really upgraded uh, technically us uh, as yeah. well, um, with the um, they call it Connect Skeletal or something when they showed it off. Yeah, the, yeah, I know. Uh, so w- what you're gonna get is um, uh, like. Your model, yeah. as a player, will have more joints. More joints, exactly. More joints than now your... Now, it, it, only, it not only can see your movements when you just move, like, superficially. Yeah. But when you actually turn around your wrist. Yeah. Like, just turn around and stuff like that. that yeah. you The camera can't actually see. Yeah. But it, it, it knows you're doing it. Yeah. Uh, somehow, or it can't see. And it also, in the post-interview with uh, Jeff Keighley and the guys at the yeah. Xbox Test Lab, the camera can see you in the dark. Yeah. Like no matter how dark the room is, the camera is able to see you. Yeah. Which is a very good feature because now you need actually a lot of light with the Xbox. Yeah. Or like enough light. Yeah. So um, you know, I've I've haven't been a really big fan of the Connect, but I think that'll turn around now. Yeah. Because uh, with all these new features and the upgrades and stuff, and I, yeah. I really like uh, motion gaming like that when you can turn your wrist yeah. and you get to see it on screen. The Nintendo sort of did that with the Wii Motion Plus controller mm-hmm. uh, for uh, Legend of uh, Zelda Skyward Sword, but then again, that's only your arm. Yeah, exactly. So here you got your whole body, mm-hmm. and uh, I believe they added some joints in your shoulders as well to see More if joints you're everywhere. Yeah. And also muscle impact and stuff, uh, how hard you hit yeah. someone if you're yeah, going to hit. Yeah, they had the motion impact sensors yeah. or something. Yeah. But what what was freaking me out the most? Yeah. It's I don't know how or 
the fuck they did it, but they can track your heart rate. Yeah. With the Kinect. <clears throat> now that's, that's insane. That's some Skynet shit right there. That's some Skynet <laughs> shit. Right. But think about it. Yeah. You play scary games. Yeah, exactly. And your heartbeat slows down. Yeah. And then, then the game's okay. He's getting not scared. No, now he's not scared. Yeah. Let's scare the shit out of him. Yeah. There's because your heart is so uh, is so. Ah, oh, I'm so it's, relaxed. It's really calm and relaxed. Your heart and like rate if, and if you can, if you see your, uh, the heartbeat is raising uh, up <clears throat> and upwards, and you're like, okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. And the game just waits a little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more because of your heart rate. And then, but bam! It scares the <laughs> shit out of you. You will get a heart attack, and then the Xbox will call nine one one for you. Yeah, <laughs> no, probably. I don't know, but <laughs> you know, if your heart rate reaches zero, <laughs> zero uh, beats per minute, that it will call a uh, fucking emergency number. That that would be a nice feature in the game. That would be cool, especially now that you can order pizza on the internet. Yeah, and, you, and your heart gets clogged with all the fat. <laughs> yeah, well, you can order pizza on your Xbox. I hope that feature will come to Norway at some point. You know, we just uh, we want some pappas and some dollies. Uh, you know, if they could just put Pizza Hut in Norway for yeah, exactly. you know other places than the airport, <laughs> exactly. I'd be really happy because <laughs> Pizza Hut sounds nice. Yeah. It seems like a popular pizza brand, <laughs> and I would like knows. to taste. <laughs> you know, I would like to taste it sometime. Yeah, and I, uh, more than that, I would like to order it through my, through my Xbox. Xbox One. I want to order it through my Xbox One. Yes, because I'm already convinced I will buy it. Yeah. And one of the biggest reasons why is later in our talk. It is. Is it? It probably is. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, other things in entertainment. You got the, the television yeah. thing? Did we talk, we talk yeah, a little you, bit about you, that? You, as far as we, we even... We wasn't sure how the Xbox is, was going to uh, uh, connect to your... Um, uh, what is it called? Your uh, subscriber for TV. Like we in yeah. Norway, we have Canal Plus and we also... I guess people in America have uh, Comcast and yeah. other stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, so we paused the stream uh, afterwards. We were looking at the video and uh, uh, they they probably said it also, but it was very quick uh, yeah. packed sheet about the, the specifications of yeah, the console. Yeah, you got to see it for like uh, five seconds yeah. or something. And so we really had to go pause, back and pause the yeah, stream exactly. to get all the details. And uh, one of the things where they had... had HDMI input output slash output. Yes. And we were like, okay, is that one connection or blah, blah, blah. So when they show that picture, we paused it and you could see all the connections. Yeah, we spent like, like two yeah, minutes just uh, looking, at the, looking at the inputs. And so um, it's going to be a digital audio input, output, yeah. output. Yeah. Uh, one HDMI in, yeah. one HDMI out. Yeah. Uh, two USB 3 ports, yeah. one Ethernet port, and a lot of random ports, it looked like. Yeah. It was like, pro- probably one of them is a connection for uh, electricity, but... Yeah, you know. But, uh, like Peter and Mullen, you said, how are they going to pull uh, this uh, television stuff off in uh, Europe? Yeah, that's, that's the thing. I, you know, uh, it's fine if I can connect my... Um, What's it called? Uh, the the fucking television box. Let's call it that. Yeah, television uh, box. Yeah. <laughs> receiver. Uh, receiver. That's yeah. a very nice word. Uh, to my Xbox. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I can connect it with an HDMI cable, but yeah. will it work with my provider? That's the thing. Yeah. But maybe they have this universal protocol that will let you do that. Yeah. Because uh, maybe uh, uh, you can't compare them. But my, uh, my, uh, my, what's this called? Sound box for Starker. Uh, amplifier. Amplifier. My yes. amplifier for amplifier. Uh, the audio in my room. Yeah. Has four con- four HDMI uh, connections. Yeah. Three inputs. Yeah. And one output. Mm-hmm. That means my PC is connected through my amplifier. My Xbox is complete uh, connected completed connected to my uh, amplifier and my TV? PlayStation Three. I, PlayStation. I I don't even play it. I almost forgot I had it. Yeah. But PlayStation Three is connected to the amplifier and then. Everything goes through there, mm-hmm. and one HDMI up to my TV. Yeah. So I guess it's something like that. Yeah, I guess. Um, so, but I th- those uh, that's the thing. I, I think we really have to wait and see how yeah, they're going exactly. to pull it off. Uh, the you know I don't I don't know how the television stuff really works. Uh, but um, I no one would <laughs> no one does. <laughs> I would Imagine. think that the. Um, way they are using it in America will not work so well in Norway. That's just my call right now. But Yeah, but 
that's you know, the thing. Microsoft, uh, as Still you say, they're, they're a big company and they're, they know they have international customers, yeah. so I bet they have got this all planned out. Yeah, exactly. So we maybe we'll get some news laid tomorrow. Maybe yeah. one of the Norwegian uh, game journalists will take a uh, talk to Xbox. No, talk to Xbox. Uh, I mean, talk to Seymour, that's Connor Plus, and Viasat and Rikstev and yeah. talk to them. And, okay, just give us a hint. Is there anything going on? Yeah. Please, yeah. maybe. You know, uh, so we'll have to just wait and see mm. uh, how that turns out. Other than that, the specifications of the console yeah. are very um, alike. The PlayStation. It is. Uh, we got to know a little bit about yes. the technical side. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm glad I showed that, uh, even though it uh, was a lot about the entertainment and you know yeah. h- how to include the whole family in the Xbox deal. Exactly. Um, so, well, there's a, it has eight gigs of RAM. They didn't say which RAM. No, they did not. But I hope it's GDDR5. Get it, FM? Yeah. GDDR5. Yeah. Of course, that's the fastest RAM there is. Yep. Uh, but if not, I hope that they they're still gonna deliver. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. You know. Uh, um, as we said earlier, we're, we're getting a 500 gigabyte yeah. hard drive. All right. That's really nice. A and Blu-ray player. Blu-ray. That was about time. That was. It's okay. <laughs> you know. We had um, an HD DVD player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I bought that. You know. Um. We talked about that. I don't want. I don't want to talk about uh, that anymore. Don't, don't talk about it. Uh. But you know, um, even though it's uh, kind of like people fle- feel that uh, a, a Blu le- Blu-ray player is mandatory, yeah. the Wii U it uses uh, Blu-ray discs for games, but, but it not. does not have the uh, ability to play yeah. Blu-ray movies. That's weird. Yeah, it's a, it's really weird. But like it's the only reason Xbox has uh, the, the 360, I mean, uh, hasn't delivered on Blu-ray now, and that it is because of the space. On yeah. the disc. Yeah. Other than that, I don't see the the 360 hasn't uh, suffered, uh, my opinion, because it has the fantastic streaming services. Yeah. Which delivers in 1080p. So yeah. It's done for a long time, and, and there, therefore the only reason the 360 needs Blu-ray is the space on the disc for the games. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, you know, and um, I don't really know. I. I don't care that much about Blu-ray, to be honest. Yeah, um, I have like one Blu-ray, Blu-ray or Blu-ray yeah. set. It's the store's uh, sexiology. Yeah, well, very nice. Sexiology. Uh, collection. Collection. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you know, I bought the PS3 about uh, it's probably two months ago or yeah. something now, and I still haven't bought a Blu-ray movie. So I don't really care about that yeah. as long as it's good quality, as long as it's HD. Like on Netflix, I don't mm, care. Exactly. That's, that's more than enough for me. And uh, it had eight cores on the CPU, they said. They didn't say anything about the clock rate or something, but that's no. still pretty awesome. Eight yeah. cores. Yeah, it's um, um, it's good, but I wish they had said something about the, more about speed. the speed. Yeah. Yeah. But the speed of the processor, but you know, uh, it's probably going to be very decent either yeah. way. Uh, other than that, we uh, it was re- really cool with the they had three operating systems. Yeah, in what one. The fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so it was the the best of the Xbox. Yeah. And uh, then they had the Windows uh, kernel. Yeah. And then they had something in the middle. They said yeah, they had, like that's something. They didn't say what, but they had. No, a, it was something in the middle yeah. that tied it. Tied the, the bo- tied everything together, which makes the instant uh, switching between the games and uh, browsing and TV and possible, I guess. Yeah. Now, uh, something I'm really excited about um, because I love to cap- capture video when I play games. Yeah. And um, uh, I've done that on the PC. I have not done it on console yet because I've. Uh, um, you want some more of my awesome Norwegian spring water? Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. It's good. It's good. It's uh, spring water, so yeah. Spring water. Do, 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 do. Spring Talk water. Do, 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 do. Xbox video capturing and editing. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that was what I was talking about. Um, it's gonna come with a built-in software system for uh, video capturing and editing. Uh, what I was but going to say is that the reason I haven't captured uh, games on consoles yet is because I would have to buy a video card, yeah. and I don't want to do that. 
And I guess uh, the video card industry is kind of uh, angry with PlayStation and Microsoft now. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> you know it's better like this. Yeah. Um, I I just hope that the uh, editing software on the Xbox will have uh, enough features to mm. actually make yeah. a good video. The thing is, uh, as far as we know about the Sony capturing, as far as we know, yeah, as far as we know, is it's maximum 50 minutes, 15, as far as I remember now. Yeah. And, and not all games are permitted. Like it's up to the developer. So if the Xbox is universal, yeah. and it's uh, it's it has something to do with your hard drive space. Yeah. I think that's winning. Yeah. That's pretty much a win for me. Um, I would agree. And um, as long as you can record in either 720p yeah. or 1080p, and for as long as you want. Yeah. And what I really hope, uh, but I'm not really sure of, is that you can get the file either on your computer uh, or on the Xbox and upload it to anywhere you want. Not just yeah. some kind of Xbox Live place, but my yeah, guess is uh, that you'll only be able to upload it to uh, the Xbox Live, uh, some kind of community there's page. There's coming a Twitch TV app now uh, on the 360, but you can't record, you can only watch. You can only watch, you but, cannot uh, watch but stream. But yeah. that's this gen 360, so yeah. maybe on the next 360 you can actually stream with the Twitch uh, also. Because uh, I know Call of Duty has it, Yeah, they have implemented it, and uh, some other games have implemented I think I'm not sure. Yeah, you know, uh, like we said with the um, gamer score stuff uh, mm-hmm. that they implemented on the Windows Phone, why would they um, why would make they? a Twitch app if they're not going to bring it over to the exactly. next console? Uh, ex- especially this late in the cycle. Yeah, because uh, so maybe on the next there will be a, 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 a it will be able to play a nice to stream. stream. You can stream your games. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. I, I know like uh, PlayStation has a contract or agreement with Ustream. All right. So that's where you will do that, yep. I guess. And uh, maybe PlayStation, maybe Xbox 360 will have no, Xbox One will have it on uh, Twitch. Yeah. Maybe some YouTube stuff. Yep. Knows. But uh, yeah. Google and Microsoft aren't that those best friends lately, so I don't know. Mm. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I guess. Um, so yeah, that is most. Uh, there were other technical stuff as well, but I guess we're not yeah. gonna go too deep into that no. because it's not that. You can find everything on the yeah. web with yeah. the more web sheets and more better facts and what everything means than talking to us. Yeah. Now, uh, maybe we should talk about some games. Yeah. And um, the, the first guys, I guess we can just start with the first guys that were talk came out and talked about games at all. Yeah. Who was it? Uh, EA Sports. Exactly. And I was super disappointed, uh, kind of, because yeah. I don't know what I expected, because E3 is in 20 days, less than 20 days. Yeah, 19 days and some hours. Yeah, so, you know, um, it was fine, uh, I guess. It was uh, not but a lot of gameplay. But I guess that's one of the, the things that Microsoft did very right. Instead of having, like, one freaking bad long press conference yeah with much of stuff that maybe it's not that interesting or whatever yeah that a very uh, smaller more compact press conference yeah with uh, lots of talk about the console 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 <laughs> console console <laughs> God, i feel like every time i say it now it's it's it's, it's wrong yeah the console Console. And uh, services and that stuff and some of their own stuff mm-hmm. and yeah and which makes everything more awesome because it's small it's it's compact yeah it has now now you mo- know most of the stuff you need to know about the the console and uh, the services yeah and then just in twenty days. You yeah. know everything about yeah. the games. You know, it, Which it, PlayStation it, it, didn't have that. Uh, they had theirs for three months ago. Yeah. And, you know, it was a console reveal. Yeah. Not not a game reveal. reveal. It, it was not E3. Yeah. So, you know, uh, we got to know a lot of stuff yeah. about the console, not uh, only games. I don't, that's okay with me. With I'm me. totally it's fine. I can, went twi- uh, twi- I can wait 20 I, days. I had just one big disappointment we can talk about afterwards. Yeah, okay, well... Um, uh, I guess we could mention what uh, EA Sports uh, actually showed us. Yeah, um, they showed us a new engine. 
called uh, Ignite. Ignite. Yeah, yeah, yeah Sports Ignite. Um, it's um, so that's especially just for sports games. Yeah. So everything else, I guess, will be Frostbite, uh, Frostbite, Frostbite Three engine. Yeah, from, I guess. Uh, Dice. Yeah. Which will power the battlefields and the Mass Effects. Yeah. And the Dragon Ages. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Uh, we're also actually uh, remind me we're gonna take a look at the confirmed games list yeah. for the Xbox later on, and we'll also take a look at uh, probable games. Yeah. Now um, they showed off a few games. They showed NFL, uh, FIFA, uh, NBA. NBA, and UFC. And the UFC it was uh, it's good to see that they're already uh, producing stuff and showing uh, off a little yeah. things. Because uh, the UFC, it's getting bigger and bigger. It's yeah. already really big, but not that much in video game. No. Uh, they have, uh, like, EA had this uh, MMA game, they yeah. called it. Yeah. And uh, the THQ had the license for the UFC, which yeah. basically the UFC is the shit yeah. when it comes to MMA. That's, it that's is. the place you want to it is. do stuff and watch. So now that THQ went bankrupt, uh, I guess uh, EA uh, Sports got the license yeah. for UFC games. Which and they uh, announced already at the last E3, actually. Yeah. Because uh, that's already then when THQ needed to uh, cut back. Yeah, of course. Um, and uh, now, um, I don't think the gameplay they showed really got to show off the new engine no. so much. Uh, the thing I liked best was uh, physics on cloth. Yeah, that looked really good. It looked really good. Like yeah. the... Um, like the shirts uh, football players yeah, had and the towels and the stuff. Especially the FIFA game with the shirts. It looked more uh, especially. Yeah, also the towel they have hanging from the pants on in the NFL game. Yeah, the runner. The, yeah, yeah, that looked uh, really awesome. Mm. Um, and yeah, but 3D they, crowds, dude. 3D crowds. Because that's always already always been a thing. Yeah. Especially with sports games and racing, racing games. Yeah. You always had like plastic... Oh, no, no, plastic, it was like 2D cardboard cutouts of, of trees and people, crowds and stuff. Yeah. So now, uh, what I want to do is to create a more living world. Yeah. Within the sports game. So I guess that's interesting. I. Th- it will definitely help the immersion. Yeah. Um, I have a question for you about sports games. Yes. You know, uh, remember the what was it? Two the fun, What was it called? All Star? No, all the fighting game, the boxer game. Boxing game. Uh, okay, EA Sport Fight Night. Fight Night. Yeah. Had a story mode. You were a prisoner. Oh yeah. Yeah. Remember that? Uh, I never played it, but, but there's a movie that's the very idea? similar. The idea is kind of cool, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Because yeah. you have this story. I always hated sports games because it's no story, nothing to make me excited. Yeah. I I like story, and stuff like that. So I was having a thought. Why not do the same with FIFA? You have like you have the kind of story mode there. You're like yeah. a trainer or something, but there's nothing special about you. But what if you start out as a poor boy in Brazil, and, tur- and you need to play your way to become the best yeah. goddamn footballer in the world? Exactly. And Why not uh, do that, EA? Why not? Because you're know, going to do it. I, I I don't know. Um, I I don't know if I would buy FIFA even if there was a story. I'm I'm maybe. Because yeah, I have asked some more of my appealing. friends that are ex- that are, are vivid FIFA players. I yeah. asked them, yeah. what if? And what they if? said, awesome. That's yeah. that's another reason to buy it. I would buy it anyway. But yeah. now they have a, a own story about it. So yeah, which could and you know, they'll probably reach a wider crowd. Mm-hmm, exactly. uh, but I'm not sure how much wider because... Yeah, that really depends on how much time and work they put into the story modes, yeah. uh, if they make one. Uh, but stuff like NFL and uh, NHL, um, mm. I buy those yeah. games because I'm into those sports, yeah. and I would, I'm probably gonna try out the UFC as well. Me too. And hopefully they put a storm on into that as well. Yeah, that would be cool. As long they as had, it's not something. They like had one thing though. Yeah. FIFA. What was it? What was it called? FIFA 14. Ultimate Team. Ultimate Team. Yeah. That, that was exclusive for the Xbox One. Yeah. And I don't Did you catch what that was? I th- I didn't. I th- I think it was a service. Let me just google that real quick because it was going to be exclusive for yeah. 13 14 ultimate team, right? So I'm like kind of interesting what what that was actually. It was like what is this? Um 
I'm not sure. Maybe there's a FIFA 13 Ultimate Team thing. But other than that, there is uh, wasn't that much. Uh, yeah, Ultimate Team. Uh, play them on your. Ultimate. I'm not really yeah. a big FIFA I ha- guy, I so. I have no idea. Uh, we, I was just. Uh, it's Xbox exclusive. Yeah, that was so, the know. one thing that I wanted to say that they they got some exclusive from EA in this time too. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, other than that, EA didn't show anything actually. They oh. showed off their engine a bit, talked about some stuff, uh, partnerships with Microsoft in the future. Yeah, stuff like that. Look uh, forward to E3. I probably guess. the f- on my behalf that was the least interesting yeah. game shown um, or it was the least shown. interesting thing in the whole. Com- uh, Press conference, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm not of, a sports fan, fan at all. So. Kind of was. Um, but yeah, th- th- I guess we should move on. Uh, next up was uh, Microsoft Studios. Yeah. And, they make uh, awesome games. They make awesome games. Uh, that is correct. And they showed off the new Forza Motorsport 5. Yeah, from turn 10 this time. Yeah. So, uh, uh, now, they showed off what they said was gameplay. But, you know... Um, but there were insane details. Yeah, there were insane sick. details. Like the tires, you can uh, the see the, 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 the how how used the tires were, the, yeah. the damages they've taken, the 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 rubber on the yeah. tire was really uh, burned off and stuff, yeah. and and like the on, on the parts of the car that yeah. were uh, carbon, yeah, carbon fiber that Shit. looked really awesome, and um, I guess it's just one of those things like we said when with the PS4 reveal that we just have to wait and see. Yeah, exactly. Um, you can never know. If but it it looked. Fantastic though. Yeah. I'm not a racing guy, but the only reason I love uh, car games. Yeah. Because I know every car game will always look better than every other game. Because there's something with the uh, way they make car games that will it's, always. It's look just better. cars, you know. Exactly. There's uh, nothing more. That's all they have to make. The car and the road, nothing else. So that's why they use 2D trees and stuff like that to get more details in the cars. Yeah. And. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Good question. I don't know. I think I had a good point, you but I I uh, forgot it. So yeah, maybe if you, it if, you, wasn't... if you remember it, just say that loud. Yeah. Um. Now we will. I will try to paint a picture for you guys now. Yeah. Me and Jacob are sitting in my sofa. We're watching. It's, uh, it's a two man couch. Two uh, mine couch. Um, <laughs> two mine couch. <laughs> two mine couch. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're ge- I know you're half German, but <laughs> <laughs> to my couch. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> it's mine couch as well. No, it's not. It's okay. actually only so two guys. Dein couch. Two guys sitting Dein on the couch. couch. Mine couch. Our couch. Okay, let's go on. Go, go. Mine couch. <laughs> we were watching the Xbox Real on uh, a two-man couch. Yes. Uh, Your couch. Phil Spencer, uh, the head of the my Xbox, now uh, head of Microsoft Studios. Yeah. Uh, which oversees all of the uh, games that uh, Microsoft is making. Yep. Uh, s- starting and talking about I guess it's like the Shigeru. bullet time and uh, storytelling and yeah. drama. And me and Jacob are like, oh my god, oh my god, it's Remedy. It's, it's Remedy. Remedy. And now, we're like, Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2. Yeah, oh because we've been oh talking about that, yeah. about that every podcast since, uh, since we knew that yeah. Xbox Reveal was coming. Yeah. Basically. So we were like, oh my god. Sequence town like it's yeah, coming, it's that, coming. That, that's been like on the top of our list, yeah. especially mine. I don't know why. We like, had goosebumps, we were jumping we were out jumping, of the couch, we were screaming like girls and everything. And they were they, like, they even told about interactive like TV shows, and we we're like, I remember Night Springs, the Bright Falls, the Bright Falls actually, I mean, yeah, I was um, like, oh my god, yeah, more Night Falls and no. Bright Falls, and Bright Falls, <laughs> and, and Wake and everything. And I'm like, and... And then they go, like, show this off, this little girl, and a the game called Count, Count, Quantum Break. Quantum Break. It, it sounds... It looked good as fuck. It looked really good. I was, I was like, no, but I want Alan Wake. <laughs> the thing is, they showed so little of it, but yeah. what I really missed with Alan Wake was that the Bright Falls was, was so short, um, yeah. and I really wish that I had something to watch uh, like Bright Falls yeah. while I was playing the actual Alan yeah. Wake game. Now, it looks like that that's is what going for. probably what we're getting now. Yeah. It's a new IP. It's uh, called Quantum Break, as yeah. you mentioned. 
and um, there will be a live action series. As uh, far as it looked like, you yeah. know, it will be uh, something with the TV. I hope it's not like defiance that the players have uh, oh, yeah. impact. I don't like it because no. then lots of weird stuff can happen. Yeah, a lot of uh, weird stuff. So I hope it will be scripted because it looked like Quantum Break is going to be. Uh, yeah, and normal story driven uh, drama game. I don't think uh, Remedy really needs any writing help from yeah. the gamers. Right, yeah, exactly. Remedy is such a talented writer, uh, writers developer. It's insane. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a gamers game. Yeah, it is. Um, and uh, it looked we didn't really get to see a lot. We saw a boat that was uh, warped, fro- warped towards the bridge. Yeah, and then it broke the bridge because it kind of warped into it. Yeah. And that's and then we saw some guy with some police or something on his back falling down a place. Yeah, yeah. And he was walking a short bit, and it was like we, we didn't really see a lot. Um, and we saw in the live action video we saw a girl, uh, a, a older woman, not an older woman, a woman. Yeah. Talking to this little girl, talking, oh, you want to know what I am or something like that, and she was yes. And yeah. It touched to, her to, behind the ear, and, and we were like, "Ah, oh, coins!" And then we we're like, "No, it's not coins. It's not a magic trick. It's fucking science, bitch." <laughs> yes. And you know, uh, sin- uh, like Peter Molyneux said, uh, it's probably got something to do with time travel or parallel uh, universes, uh, since it's quantum and yes. quantum physics. And I guess when the quantum physics break, like in Quantum Break, <laughs> if that's what happens, shit hits the fan, shit and boats fan. destroy bridges, and cops <laughs> fall on their backs. <laughs> so, shit happens. Yeah. Quantum shit happens. So, uh, I guess there's not too much to say about that. Uh, yeah. And the one thing that the guy, the, is it a lead writer on Sam, Sam Lake? His Sam name Lake, is, yeah. I think he's the lead writer. Yeah. He said that the... They will continue Alan Wake's story but when the time is right. Yeah, not now. Not now, but they've said they're going to. Yeah, that's all I need to hear. As yeah. long as if I if I hear that Microsoft has officially cancelled everything concerning Alan Wake, I will go bananas. Bananas. Yeah. Yeah. Bonkers. bonkers so uh, bananas. that would be bad. Yeah. But I think uh, I think we're good on that part mostly. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I guess that's all there is to Quantum Break for now. Yeah. Well, uh, know. it looked pr- pretty. Pr- if it was in game, it looked pretty. Yeah, it did. Um, probably see more of that at uh, E3 Hopefully. as well. So um, that's one new IP. Uh, now they did actually reveal that they will be releasing 15 exclusives the first year of the Xbox One. Yes. Which is lo- uh, that's actually a lot. Yeah, and. Eight of those are going to be new IPs, and I'm th- I'm thankful for that. Yeah, because I don't need more fours and fives and threes and twos. Sequels. As far as it, as far as it's not Alan Wake two, everything can go die except yeah. Halo Five. Of course. Yeah, yeah, and um, <laughs> I guess um, that's what a lot of people wanted. Yeah. Um, I, new IP. It's it's always good. It's mostly a good thing, I yeah. guess. Uh, unless it sucks, then so it's a bad thing. 15 exclusive uh, games for the Xbox One, and then uh, 8 of them should be new IPs. I don't know if um, Quantum Break is kind of within, within those IPs. I guess it is. Yeah, it is. And that, I guess then for, for some Motorsport 5 is, uh, is, is one of uh, the, the exclusives. 15 exclusives. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's Quantum Break yeah. for you. Now, uh, the last game we got to see was uh, the Call of Duty Ghosts. Yeah. Can uh, you tell me about what, what happened? The Call of Duty Ghosts? Yeah. What's the story? Or Yeah, like, what, what, what's the, what's the, what, what's its deal? Yeah, you know, I, <laughs> shit has hit the fan and America is really fucked. Now you are a, um... <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what you are, I guess. Uh, you're part of the um, the ghosts, I think they call it. It's like yeah. a squad of... Uh, yeah, they the, gathered themselves, if I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, they gathered the last elite soldiers of uh, the United States, uh, States and uh, made the ghost squad or whatever. Yeah. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't care about Call of Duty games anymore. Neither do I. It's, but there's a dog in it. 
No, there. you can have the, your squad will have a dog in it. Yeah, and they uh, were really proud about uh, motion capturing the dog. Yeah, and that was kind of cool. Well, it was kind of cool because it was actually a real Navy Seal dog. Yeah. And That's kind of cool. They were really bragging about the new engine. Oh, and yeah, they did. But if they didn't, I would surprise me because yeah. they've had the same engine for like the last 50 years. Yeah. And I, I think they're really late on some fronts, like yeah. the thing that you're able to leap across uh, the mantle leap or whatever yeah. you call it. Yeah. Um, stuff like that should have mm. been added into the game a long time ago. Yeah. Exactly, and um, I'm I'm not just I'm just not very excited for it. It looked pretty. It looked good. <laughs> yeah, but then again, it's it's uh, hard to tell on uh, a stream on a stream that's uh, that goes goes from 480p to 720 to 720 to yeah. 540 and up and down, up and uh, down. It, it looked really neat when you got a close up of details like yeah. um, texture on uh, clothing and fabrics and stuff. And, yeah. that, so would, that, that looked, that looked nice. good. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm. I, I didn't think the faces looked that good, actually. One of the faces did, but the other face didn't look that good. It, lo- it, still, it still looks like the Halo 4 faces looked better. Yeah, they did. In my opinion. Yeah, I, I totally agree. So, so there you Call go. Call of Duty, you gotta step it up on the faces. Step it up a notch. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be buying that game. Um, no. Neither am I, because I've never been a Call of Duty guy, so... You know, I... I played some of the old ones, and I played the first Modern Warfare game yeah. and the Black Ops game. I only bought the uh, Call of Duty 4 game because of a Star Wars mod. Yeah, we and talked the about Call that. Call of Duty Black Ops I bought because of peer pressures of my friends. They literally sat me down and pushed the buy button for me. You need to buy this because we're going to all play together. Yeah, I, I've had a <laughs> lot of fun in Black Ops multiplayer. Yeah, me too, for but a while. I uh, it, It's still... Call of Duty, you know, yeah. it doesn't feel any different. Exactly. Any of the games. Uh, so uh, I liked the first Modern Warfare. It had a really neat story and stuff. Yeah. Then they just kind of recycled that, and we talked about this again and again. And I guess we're beating a dead horse. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, I'll probably t- the, try it out. The developer of Call of Duty Ghost is Infinity War, Infinity Ward yeah. this time, and not with the help of Sledgehammer. No, because uh, that Modern Warfare Three, uh, that's when Infinity War had help from uh, Sledgehammer because of all of the guys leaving for respawn. Yeah, well, I'm, I um, actually my favorite Call of Duty game is Black Ops One, so you know. You're a Treyarch guy. Yeah, as of now, I am. Yeah. We'll see when Ghost comes out and if I play it. Um, I guess there's not a lot more. A lot of stuff to say about that either. No. We didn't get to see that much. It was just a few g- gameplay trailers yeah, some, and some engine stuff. Yeah, and some side the side to side between Modern Warfare Three and Call of Duty Ghost. Yeah, I don't know why they did chose that. Chose Modern Warfare Three when Call of Duty Black Ops Two is the newest one. Yeah, shouldn't with the s- that with be that engine better. Than Modern Warfare 3, I don't know. Maybe it's because know. of the setting. Maybe it's legal reasons as well because Treyarch made the uh, yeah, Black Ops 2 game. Sharing everything, I think. But yeah, I, I don't care. They're sharing en- engines, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't yeah. care. Uh, I'm not a Call of Duty guy, so uh, I had, uh, they're still uh, exclusive to 360, the DLCs. Yeah. So that's interesting. So. Your phone is reaching critical battery level. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Um, we, yes. could still we have lots to talk about. Yeah, we 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 use the phone to sort of uh, um, the time um, our yeah to find uh, out how much time we've used already. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now to the most interesting and uh, orgasm-inducing yeah event I of was, the Xbox review. I was I I literally we became dizzy. Yeah, we we did. I became <laughs> hot, dizzy, and I was like. I, f- I felt weird. I, f- I felt so <laughs> weird too. This, this has been a dream for such a long time. Yeah, now let's, before we go ahead and talk about this, yeah. we have discussed a lot whether or not 343 Studios would show up yeah. and show, some, show a new Halo game. Yeah. And uh, we were um, uh, uh, sitting in front of Twitter uh, yeah. while watching the pre show, and uh, we saw a lot of uh, tweets, and one of them said that, hey, the three four three industry guys are here. Yeah, and we're like, okay, Halo game, yeah. awesome. Because you've been like, 
Um, I don't need a new Halo game yet. I don't need it. I'm no. uh, the Halo 4 game is awesome. Uh, if there should be a new Halo game, there should be a Halo 2 remake, nothing else. There should be a new Halo game eventually, but yeah, yeah. but like uh, it needs at least one two years still. So I'm saying uh, th- that in depends. Two fifteen, it should be out, or it should be yeah, well, uh, it almost released. Kind of depends on how long they have been actually uh, developing it, though. But uh, I agree with you on that. Maybe two, maybe not two years, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, three four three industries came out on stage. Uh, yeah, and first there was this TV lady. Yeah, she looked old, and she looked like uh, Angela Merkel. Yeah, I thought she looked more like Hillary Clinton. Clinton. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, or something like that. Hillary Clinton. Hillary All right, so, uh, yeah, and she talked about uh, some, you know, more television stuff. Yeah. Uh, the Price is Right and stuff. Yeah, they show like a lot they, of The Price the is, is Right. They wanted more interactive TV that yeah. they were part of the experience and stuff like that. Yeah, so. And then they got... The studio head of three for three and three. I can't remember what she's what her name is, but it's a woman. It's a woman. Her, she's pretty awesome. Sure is. Of course, she's a huge Halo fan, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, and uh, they were standing there. They were talking, and everybody said, "Okay, they were just talking about TV." Yeah. Why uh, is three for three uh, here? Uh, and why is there a Halo logo in yeah, the background? what is this? Wake up, John. What's going and on? And then they started saying, we've had a lot of, uh, we had a lot of uh, success yes. with the Forward Unto Dawn web series. Yeah, and we were like, okay, web series. And now we're like, okay, is there more web series coming? Yeah. And then they were saying, uh, we're going to produce something with a very, le- with a legendary story writer and storyteller. Storyteller. Yeah. Everything, everything director now that brings us back to the intro the guy the we guy saw, it was fucking steven spielberg steven goddamn spielberg now when we saw you the intro you just said it i have goosebumps I, I can't i can't i can't remember like i was so goddamn excited i don't know if you noticed i was like shit it's like some sort of high and mm. and we just knew it right when his face come came up on the screen he yeah. started talking about how awesome he thinks halo is mm. that and yes. he's been a gamer for many years and all yeah. that. Uh, and I guess, the, if I'm not mistaken, the original Warthog design is made by Steven Spielberg. I don't, I don't, I don't know this. I but, think uh, I think so. They look very much like the trucks in Terra Nova. Okay. Uh, but however, there is going to be a Halo television series. Goddamn Halo television series. <laughs> I, 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 I'm giggling like I'm a schoolgirl <laughs> just talking about it. But we were like screaming. We were like, what? Like, oh my god, are you serious? Because we have heard about with this. Steven Spielberg. Because uh, it's, oh, it was like, dude. If, you've heard all about the movies. Like, oh, it's going to be a Halo movie. Goddamn, it's in development hell. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, the Halo movie is now canceled. Yeah. And it's like, hmm. And and now it's just it's it's a series. But but it's confirmed okay. the series. You know, uh, I'm not a fan of World War Two or stuff like that. So. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. I, I have a point. Just yeah. Me. But Band of Brothers. Yes. That's a series. It's a series. <laughs> From. St- Steven Spielberg. Correct. <laughs> ODST meets Band of Brothers. Yes. Meets Steven Spielberg. Yes. Meets is Halo TV show. With uh, Spartans and everything. I don't. I, I don't need Spartans. I. I'll be honest. I don't need <laughs> you in, in, in the TV show. I just no, want you know Halo. Yeah, but you're pretty much uh, guaranteed that Steven Spielberg is gonna bring every little aspect of the Halo universe yeah. into the show. But like that, that, that's that, what that, it does. That's that's a, that. If you want to do it realistically, without too much heavy uh, CGI effects and stuff yeah. like that. That would be one ro- uh, route to go. But yeah. Microsoft had millions of billions of dollars. Yeah. So. And Avatar didn't look so bad. Avatar? The movie? Yeah, Wasn't what that about Steven it? Spielberg? No. That's Cameron. Fuck, that's Cameron. I always mix those two guys up. Yeah. <laughs> that's Titanic, god damn it. God damn it. But you know, um. You know, it's still, still CGI. I, I don't. And Forward Unto Dawn looked really awesome as well. It looked. Freaking awesome. So and I was Master Chief was in it. Yeah, and I so I guess that won't really be a big problem. 
uh, if they're going to use a lot of CGI. If, if they can do it in a fucking web series, they will up the ante on a goddamn TV show. Yeah, of course they and will. And especially if it's goddamn Steven Spielberg. Yeah. And we also saw, uh, we started speculating on the way down here to the studio that uh, since we saw J.J. Abrams, uh, Abrams in, the, in the intro, yeah. maybe he will be uh, involved as well. You know what? I just had a thought. Yeah. J.J. Abrams will take over every major sci-fi stuff. Star Trek, Star Wars, he's already got those two. Yeah, no. Next one, he's gonna goddamn take Halo and make a movie about that one. <laughs> can I, you, can I, you? I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be disappointed because yeah. he is a fucking genius. Um, like what he did with Lost, I yeah. really love Lost. But that wasn't just JJ. No, no, of remember. course not. So. He was very much involved. Yeah, of course. But um, you have Lindelof also. Yeah, no. of course, of course. Uh, and uh, since uh, Spielberg and I believe it is Spielberg and uh, Abrams uh, worked together on uh, Super 8 Super 8 yeah so I guess they're best friends forever yeah pretty much so I guess but many I, people I, I have hopes yeah. because yeah I, me too didn't he also do Heroes I can't remember let me check that out uh, one thing is uh, for sure though that uh, many uh, people compare J.J. Uh, Abrams uh, yep. to a younger or a modern Spielberg. Yeah. Many people do that. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm agreeing, but it's okay. Yeah, I because what... Yeah. what, what uh, as long as he makes a good Star Wars movie, I'm in. Yeah. I mean, what other reason did he have to actually be in the intro? I don't know. That's the thing. We don't know. Maybe Bill Gates is doing something. He was in the intro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think Bill Gates is doing a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um... There have been something about the yeah. heroes. Yeah, well, I, I guess it wasn't actually involved. No. Wait a minute. Is JJ Aaron <laughs> saving heroes' ass? I don't know. Um, he yeah. looks kind of like uh, that guy from Big Bang Theory. Yeah, I know Leonard from Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Theory. Uh, yeah. I, uh, let's just scroll a little bit down here. Yeah. Uh, no, I guess look like not. it. But he made Cloverfield. Yeah, and there was some talk about him and Heroes, so yeah. I guess. Uh, he made uh, also Lost. Well, yeah, maybe there was this rumor that uh, Microsoft is going to re uh, revive Heroes. Yeah. Maybe he ha will have his uh, thing do there then, maybe. Yeah, I guess. But I just think it's awesome that Microsoft goes out and get are getting these guys to make exclusive content, because I guess the, the show... Uh, the Halo TV show will only be available on the 360. No, not the 360, but only on the Xbox One. Yeah. Maybe the 360. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It's. But um, the thing is that they just uh, have it. Yeah. My phone's just said uh, Hardball. All right. I guess we're uh, not. Uh, yeah. Okay. We don't know the time yet. So. Uh, who needs time? Uh, okay. We got a few uh, tweets in. Actually, we're also looking at Twitter from. Um, here's something from Remedy. Let's see if it's anything. Interesting. The choices. In okay. Uh, what is Remedy to us talking about? All right. Um, in Quantum Break, the actions you take and the choices you make shape your experience while time is literally running out. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, like a, a uh, Majora's Mask kind yeah, of thing, maybe? Maybe. And you remember The Walking Dead, you have the choices, but you have time to do the choices. And the if the choice, like the time bar goes faster down, you're like panicking. Yeah. So it's, it can be very different for each time. Maybe they can uh, implement that to the heart rate thing in the connect. That would oh be God, awesome. Oh God, that would be insane. And uh, now it, it's another tweet. It says, as time breaks down, uh, impossible split second moments of destruction turn into epic stages of time powered action. So I guess it has something to do with time. Yeah. Uh, like uh, we speculated. Or should we rather say Mike, uh, Peter Molyneux? We're speculating about. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, listen to this. Um, Sony stock is up 9% yeah, after I, the Xbox One reveal from IGN. I read it. Uh, also, uh, some other guys tweeted it. But I, Why? <laughs> I guess the reason is uh, why? Because games. That's why. Yeah, I guess. But <coughs> I, guess. I don't care. No, it's That's the thing. Uh, Sony I, is so poor anyway. I'm sorry to say this, but Sony ha for a while had it so hard. Yeah. Uh, they had problems with everything. I, I mean. I'd, I'd like to quote Michael Jones uh, from Achievement Hunter and Rooster yes, Teeth. Yes, you may uh, quote him. Um, he tweeted earlier, like two, two hours ago. Um, he says, it's a console reveal. I don't give a shit. 
No, wait, that's wrong. <laughs> it's a console reveal. I give a shit about the console, not the games. I can wait 20 days to see Microsoft uh, shit in Sony's mouth at E3. Exactly. Exactly. And that's... And that's the same thing... Uh, I guess we're kind of biased because we're Xbox uh, lovers, uh, f- fanboys. <laughs> well, that's the thing. If play- PlayStation showed me games... Yeah. But those the games I was interested in, I know will come on the next Xbox. Yeah. So exactly. they shit themselves on their legs because they, they didn't show me enough interesting uh, that, stuff. That's a Norwegian uh, term, by the way. Yeah. Um, uh, means you yeah. shit on your own leg and yeah. being kind of stupid and yeah. retarded. Like uh, walking in a cell pool, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Stu- yeah. You're stupid, basically. Yeah. Um, so that's... Uh, I, I'm still... Oh. Uh, three for threes industries uh, makes, yeah. does everything right yeah i'm really excited about everything they yeah. do actually um i was sort of afraid that uh this they were going to present another halo spin-off like halo wars um i didn't find that game that interesting i haven't played it too much but you know i don't it has fantastic cgi though the movies no oh, uh halo wars I'm... yeah the movies in oh yeah the, the, yeah the cinematics yeah yeah it's sure. fantastic yeah uh, but I, I'm just not that interested in the spin-offs. Yeah, no, no, that's okay. And I don't c- count ODST as a spin-off. You do? You don't? I know it is, but I mean, it's still like like a regular Halo. No, it's not. It is a first-person shooter. Yeah, but... Okay, if you want to see it like that. You, okay. you yeah, get yeah. my point, you know. I get your point. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, that's the biggest things that were revealed. Um, so I'm excited. Yeah. Twenty days or nineteen days in some hours. Yeah. Um, uh, the June tenth, I guess. Mm-hmm. We will know more about uh, what the next uh, the Xbox One, not the next Xbox, but the Xbox One. You know the name. Yeah. Will bring of uh, games. So I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, they also were talking about uh, their Vancouver studio. Yeah. Black Tusk Dawn. Yeah. They're going to. They're. Uh, they're. Developing a then, then, tri- a tri- uh, a triple A project. Yeah, and what you're saying, it's gonna be the next Halo. Yeah, not like the Halo Five, but no. like it's gonna be as big as Halo. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Uh, Which so, is pretty goddamn big. Yeah, if you ask me, if that fails, they're fucked. Yeah, you know, um, they might not be fucked, but uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. like. They're trying to do the next it's, big thing. M- maybe they're hyping it up a bit yeah. too much, saying it's uh, the next Halo. Because yeah. that's very, Hard. very big shoes to fill. Yeah. And that the shoes are still being worn by 343 Industries. So yeah. They're pretty comfy there. Yeah, <laughs> I think they are. Yeah. It's like loafers, super loafers. comfy shoes. Specially made. Yeah. For three for three students. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody uh, there has you know custom what? shoes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you when you start working at three for threes, you get custom shoes. That's because I guess that's why they. Um, you know, I think every person in America has comfy shoes because yeah. in Norway we just have the size and it's uh, if it increases like proportionally. Yeah. But in uh, the states, you get shoes that um, the size varies both uh, in uh, width and length okay. and height. Mm. So you can get like super comfy shoes, and I guess what, that's why three four three industries are making so uh, yeah, awesome okay. games. Yeah, probably. Uh, but maybe we should take a look at uh, the games uh, is uh, the games that are uh, announced and confirmed yeah. for the Xbox One, and which ones are believed still to weird come to out. Still weird Xbox One. I know it's yeah. it, uh, but it feels good though. Yeah, it does. It's good. Um, so we create a few. Uh, we got a list right here. We got a list. Let me just adjust my mic a little bit. Boop. Uh, there we go. The first game is uh, from Ubisoft. It's called Assassin's Creed Four. Yes. I'm super excited. Mm, I'm a bit more excited yeah. than I was. When it first was revealed? Yeah. Because uh, now it's on the Xbox One. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, we also got Battlefield 4. Yeah. Uh, none of... Um, these aren't really shockers. Uh, exactly. Except for the ones that were revealed. Uh, like Quantum Break. Mm. Um, we're going to get uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. <gasps> no. <laughs> yeah. <Are you> serious? <laughs> yeah. We're going to get uh, Destiny. Oh my god. That uh, was bound to happen because it's Bungie. Yeah. It's uh, Destiny. 
exactly it's destiny <laughs> yeah and uh, fifa soccer 14 uh, mm-hmm. as well uh, as uh, madden 25 and nba live 14 yeah and ufc uh that's the ea games uh those four we also got uh, forza motorsport uh, 5 yeah. Uh, that was going to be a launch title. Yeah, I, th- I think uh, think so. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Yeah, uh, we got uh, Quantum Break as we mentioned earlier. Um, and, Thief. Uh, Thief. From Thief uh, actually. Idols. Yeah, uh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be good. I'm uh, looking forward to uh, a Thief game, game with uh, next gen graphics. Yeah. I I, I want to go back and play the old ones, but the I just have uh, the three, the third. Yeah, I play like the first mission. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna play it, but I'm like, oh no. Yeah, I I usually mm. I I never play like current again uh, gen generation games for the graphics. Exactly. And um, but you know it's still hard to go back and play games with such old graphics that you know it's. It's not only that. Sometimes it's old mechanics that are, yeah. you do. You're, you're like. What were they thinking? It was probably super cool in the 90s, but now it's we're fucking 2013. Get over it. Yeah, Stuff exactly. Like that. Um, so yeah, Thief. And uh, last but not least at all, we got Watch Dogs. <gasps> and I'm super excited for that game. I'm yeah. so excited. I'm excited too. So excited. I'm so excited. Now I guess we could uh, have a look at the uh, possible games for the Xbox One. and But I, but I guess... Yeah. Uh, perhaps discuss, discuss a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Wolfenstein, the New Order. Yeah, I guess that's pretty sure. Yeah, it's pretty sure. Uh, yes. Not too much to say about that. Uh, it's probably just haven't updated yet. So yeah, now uh, Rise. Yeah, because the thing is, that's the Connect game from uh, Crytek, which yeah. they have exclusive deal with Microsoft. Yeah, it was a uh, kind of a gladiator time uh, game where you yeah, uh, it's fight with shield and so on. First person Roman combat game. First revealed in 2010, actually. Yeah. So that's a long time ago. The thing is, now they, they were talking about the, the new the, with the new Connect. It's gonna be so good. Yeah. I guess it. I guess that will be one of the more the the real hardcore games that we've uh, been waiting for. Yeah. So uh, this is gonna be pretty cool. I hope. Um. Let's have a look at some more games. Uh, Halo Five, obviously. That's, that will come in 2015. I hope. It will come out in 2015. Yeah. Um, Dragon Age uh, 3 Inquisition, that's likely. Yeah, that's going to be shown at the uh, E3, the rumors say. Yeah. So I ho- I'm hope i so excited for it. I don't know why what it is, but I'm a bigger fan of the Dragon Age games yeah. than the Mass Effect games. I don't know what why, but I am. I'm a huge sci-fi geek. Yeah, I... I um, fantasy I, geek, but I'll, yeah. I don't know why. I, I really enjoy... Uh, those games as well. Uh, Dragon Age perhaps a bit more than Mass Effect because I've had a lot of issues playing Mass Effect, as you know. And those uh, listen to our earlier podcasts know. Yeah. I, I don't get to play them. And uh, there's this game called The Evil Within. Uh, yeah, that's game. Uh, from the Resident Evil creator. Yeah, Shinji uh, Mikami. Mikami. And that was annu- announced by Bethesda yeah. for a 2014 release on yeah. next generation consoles. So, so obviously... No. Yeah, Xbox. One. Um, next, there's a game that's uh, rumored as a next gen family game. Uh, I guess there's this gonna, always gonna yeah. be a next gen family game. Yeah, of course. Now, The Witcher Three: yeah. The Wild Hunt. I I'm having a dilemma now. Yeah. Because I have my save games on my PC. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's co- probably gonna be pretty much the same experience on the PC and the, the Xbox One and the PlayStation Four probably. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm. I think I'll go ahead and just. Uh, I actually got The Witcher on Xbox now as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it on the th- uh, one. I think. Okay. I see. Um, it really depends how much uh, the import your character thing does yeah, for the game. Exactly. Um, whether it's uh, something to care about or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got a new Rainbow Six game. It's called Patriots. Yeah, but that's been announced for like a year or two. Yeah. Uh, not much talk about that one. But uh, the Ubisoft CEO, uh, Yves Guillemot, or Yves whatever Guillemot. it's called, uh, he said that it's still in development and there's a good chance that it can be pushed to next generation consoles. Yeah. So I guess. So I guess that's what happened. Yeah. Mafia 3. 
Uh, by the way, we're getting uh, this uh, list off of IGN, just so uh, you guys know that, and uh, we can give them some more credit. Yeah. Yeah. Because Hooray, IGN. Yeah. Uh, or Ryan McCarthy. <laughs> oh, you know. Uh, rumors suggest that Mafia 3 is in development at 2K check. Um, and it was delayed in order to shift the next generation console. So, uh, the, you know, m- it seems like a lot of these things are just uh, uh, they haven't, rumors. They haven't been confirmed, many of the games. They're like, if you see, like, uh, the Witcher game, it's gonna be. It just hasn't updated their uh, status on the... They, they haven't made a press release that it's, yeah, it's an Xbox One game. Now we can finally say it. Yeah, you know. So I guess this week will be full of announcements for Xbox One. Yeah. And uh, let's see, apart from that, we got Doom 4, I guess. Uh, yeah. We got... Um, that's uh, about it. We got we got a few more, but... Yeah, um, nothing special. Like, maybe Lionhead. Game. Yeah. Next-gen Sonic game. Uh, I don't know if they count the Wii U as a Sonic... Uh, as a, Next-gen. Um, yeah, but uh, they have... Uh, uh, reveal that the next three Sonic games will be on the Wii U. Hmm. So um, that's the thing to think about. Yeah. Um, let's see. We got the Square Enix stuff. Yeah, uh, I hope that there was it down under. No, it's not down under. It's Luminous. No, what is it called? The game with the dragon that is showed on the PlayStation Four event. Oh yeah, uh, deep down. Deep down. I yeah. it was down under. That's Australia, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it might be set in Australia. Yeah, we, you never know. Set in Australia with dragons and knights and underground, it's gonna be awesome. I yeah, I've heard that everything in Australia tries to kill you, so I guess that would be a good setting. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, there's not a lot of interesting things left. There's Lionhead Studios, yeah. next generation game. Um, and that's uh, rumored to be a MMO. Yeah. And uh, that would make sense since Xbox has been talking about connected worlds and uh, and all that. Yeah, and uh, it also says they have been looking uh, that the studio has been looking for uh, programs with experience using the Unreal Engine and uh, yeah, uh, modern implementing mod- modern rendering engine. Yeah. So uh, like the DirectX 11, I guess. Yeah. Um. So that's it for the list of games, I guess. Um, there are a lot of rumors. Yeah. I guess we should probably call it soon. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm tired as fuck. Yeah, I'm getting pretty tired as well. I was, uh, you know, we danced around a lot. So at the um, end, we can say uh, I'm excited I'm for th- E3. Very excited for E3. I'm uh, excited for the Xbox One. I like the name. I like the name as well. I like the look of it. It the looks look, really look, awesome. Uh, the look look awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I like the features a lot. I yeah. think I'm gonna have to upgrade my uh, computer to Windows 8 just yeah. because I need more tiles now. More tiles. Tiles are awesome. Tiles are good, and uh, they're really they, appealing. They said also it's gonna be out this year. Later this year. Later this year, which means Christmas, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you know, November. October. October. Probably. Probably. Um, right after GTA V. I guess it's a good decision to release it a few months before Christmas so that people uh, really get to uh, try yeah. it and review it. And then people decide, hey, I want that for Christmas. I'm Exactly. And a lot of people are going to buy it. On Black Friday. Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> God damn. That's what they call it in America. Do we have that in Norway? No. Nope. I guess or that's a good thing. Or under isn't that like the shopping day after Christmas? Change yeah. everything and yeah, when the when the uh, shops open up again after yeah. Christmas. Exactly. So yeah, I guess we should call it for now. Yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoy this special podcast, um, which also will be the last podcast this uh, before the summer vacation. It it will after. be. So the next time you will see uh, maybe some new voices or hear. Some new voices? Yes, that is because you, Jan, you're going away. Yeah, this is my last. This is your last podcast for now. For now. Uh, you will be featured on other Spillbar stuff, I guess. I, um, if I have time for it, I will uh, yeah. gladly help. Yeah. Could and do like uh, uh, stream, probably do some streams and let's plays and stuff. And if we're going to have a 12-hour stream, we can, uh, we'll be sure to 
put it so that you can come as well. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess that wraps it up. Yes, that's uh, nothing else to say than uh, game over for this time. Or is it game on? I see what you're Or is it game. Xbox on? Xbox on. All right. Should we rather say Xbox off? <laughs> Xbox off for this time, I guess. Since it's a special Xbox podcast. Yeah. Yes, Xbox off. <laughs>